This is Jerry Mischewski with Balance Community Slackline Outfitters. Today we're going to be looking at the all new BC Classic Longline Kit, which is a longline kit that includes everything you need to rig longlines up to 250 feet long or 75 meters. Let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at what comes with the BC Classic Longline Kit. First off, you get 250 feet of your choice of our uh, custom slackline webbings, complete with a sewn loop on one end. Uh, you also get a pair of the classic SBI pulleys with a built-in brake, uh, the correct amount of rope for the webbing that you chose, a pair of our tree light tree protectors, two 12-foot adjustable anchor webbing slings, one 10-foot adjustable anchor webbing sling, two BC shackles, two half-inch Van B shackles, a Prusik, a, an Omega Pacific oval carabiner, an SMC CRX pulley for the multiplier, and your choice between a shackle line locker kit or the Alpine Weblock 4.0 for the tensioning side. Um, so let's take a look at how to reeve the pulleys to start. All right, so I'm gonna lay my SBI pulleys out in front of me, Slackline Brothers, with the brake pulley on my right and the non-brake pulley on my left. Now I have my rope here, and we're gonna need about oh, 10 feet or so to play with. So have access to the end. First thing you're gonna wanna do is pass the rope through the brake handle and up through this first sheave. We have to go backwards here because we can't open the side plates of these pulleys. So pull a fair amount of slack through. Let's actually move this to the other side. There we go. Now we're gonna go down this sheave here. So this is the right to left reeving. As you can see um, in the link here, there's how to reeve your pulleys. This is the right to left. So next we're gonna go up the other sheave on this one. And then down this sheave. And now we're gonna tie the rope to this becket directly, no shackle needed. And we're gonna use what's called a barrel knot. So pass the end through. You'll need about two feet here. And then you're gonna tie a double overhand knot here. So go around underneath, create an X, go around again, and then pass through itself just like that. And that's one of the smallest profile knots so that we won't get any abrasion from these strands on the knot there. All right, so that's our, our main pulleys. We're gonna use these now to rig the slack line. Let's get to it. All right, for the first step, we're gonna, we're gonna be rigging the static end or non-tensioning end of the slack line. And what we're gonna need is one 12 foot adjustable sling, one 10 foot, one of our tree pros, both BC shackles, and the sewn loop end of our webbing. And we're gonna walk that to the other tree. All right, here we are at the static anchor, which we have already rigged up. Uh, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is install your tree, tree light tree protector at a good height on the tree. The longer the line, the higher your anchors need to be. If you're trying to rig the full 75 meters, 250 feet, your anchors need to be quite high, about six and a half, seven feet up, or two meters, roughly. All right, so now that we have our, our Tree Pro set up, we're gonna set up the main anchor. So take your 12 foot adjustable sling, wrap it around the tree, passing it through the holder loops on the tree light, and attach one of the BC shackles fairly close to the tree, such that the angle here is 90 degrees or less. But you also wanna keep this distance pretty close. 
um, and keeping in mind that this, these slings are going to stretch quite a bit. So once this tension is on this line, we're going to see this angle is going to become much smaller as the shackle comes out as the slings stretch. And then we're going to take our 10 foot sling and rig it beneath, below the main one and attach our backup loop to this BC shackle. Now remember, this main sling is going to stretch quite a bit. So we want to actually rig the backup sling so it sits in front of the main sling, not behind it like this. Because if it's behind it, we'll actually start to see tension transfer onto the backup, uh, which is not good. We don't want that. We want all the tension here and this to be there just in case something happens in this system. And so there we go, that's our static anchor. We're ready to walk to the tensioning side. We're gonna walk with it flat to the other side and rig up our tensioning system. So let's do that. Once we have our webbing walked out to the tensioning side, we're gonna lay it on the ground and put a stick, stab the stick in the ground and lay it on top of the webbing to hold the flat position. We want this to be roughly where we're gonna attach the pulley systems to the line, just so we can remember what is flat when we're rigging. Makes things a lot easier in, in the next couple of steps. For the next step, uh, we're gonna be rigging the tensioning end with the pulley system, and we're gonna need our other tree light, our other 12 foot sling, both Van Beast half inch shackles, our chosen webbing anchor, uh, which you will choose when you purchase the product, either the Alpine web lock or the standard line locker, our pulley system, and our multiplier kit. So let's do it. If you've chosen the standard line locker as your webbing anchor option for this kit, what you're going to want to do next is take the sleeve that comes with your line locker and take the non-sewn end of your webbing and feed it through the sleeve, all the way through. It helps to position it vertically like this. it and now we're going to want to position this where we're going to do our line locker so just hold it beyond the sleeve and slide it down so we'll do that and we'll start building our tensioning system all right so we have our tensioning tree rigged. We got the tree pro set up at about the same height as the other side. Uh, and then we got our other 12 foot sling wrapped around and our first Van Beast shackle attached again so that there's an angle of 90 degrees or less here. Uh, that's the nice thing about these adjustable slings is you can choose which anchor loop to pass the shackle through by just going right through. And then we have the brake pulley of the SBI pulleys connected to the pin of the shackle here. And now we're going to extend our pulleys by holding down the brake, just like this, and pulling rope through that system. If you don't hold down the brake, it'll just lock. So you have to hold it down. Pull some slack through, however much you think you'll need. In this case, we're bringing a pretty short line, so we don't need that much. And then you can pull here out towards the line to extend them out. Let's do that. All right, so we've extended our pulleys out, and as you can see, we're right here. We've positioned our sleeve, and we're at the mark where we had the stick, and so we know this is flat. And so if you've chosen the standard line locker as your webbing anchor option, you're gonna to wanna to have the sleeve on and we're gonna build a line locker now. So take this with the flat on top and form a bite, just like that. 
take your two rings, pass the bite through, and around, and back through again. It's gonna be a little tight with the mantra because it's a thick webbing. And then with that bite, we're gonna take this Van Beast half inch shackle and pass it through. Building the line locker on the bow side of the shackle. And now we can connect this straight to the non-brake pulley. There we go. And now we're ready to tension. If you've chosen the Alpine Weblock as your webbing anchor of choice, uh, first attach it to the SPI pulleys by, with the other Van Beast half inch shackle. And putting the Weblock on the bow end of the shackle and the pin going straight to the SPI pulleys. And then take your webbing with the flat up, form a bite, walking line on top. Pass it down behind the center diverter of your Alpine web lock. Up the front, remove the front pin, pass the bite behind the front pin, and reinstall the front pin. And now we can pull slack through. position to do this. There we go. Let me reposition the camera here. So now pull slack through. This makes tensioning way, way easier. Alright. Now we are ready to tension the line. All right, so the first stage in tensioning is without a multiplier. And so you're just gonna take this last strand leaving the, the brake arm of SBI pulleys and just pull it. like that until it gets hard. There we go, and now we can install the multiplier. All right, to install the multiplier, we're first gonna need a prusik. So there's usually a tag on these prusiks. Position it very close to your bottom finger, just like that. And then with the non-tag end, we're gonna follow this last strand, leaving the brake pulley, up, through, and that's the strand we want to install the multiplier on. So pass the Prusik bite behind, pass the tag in through once, around, through twice, around again, and through three times. You want to do at least three wraps. The more the better there. I'm actually going to do four. it's dressed really nicely, just like that. And then you're gonna clip your carabiner to it. And then use this strand, install it on your SMC CRX, and clip it to there. And then slide this prusik all the way forward. And then you can pull here, and that makes pulling three times as easy. And then when it gets far enough back, reset by loosening the prusik by pushing the tag in through, and then make sure it cinches down, and then you can pull further. That feels 
pretty tight. And so what we're gonna do is, now since we're done tensioning, we're gonna uninstall this. Put these to, a, to the side for now. And then we're gonna tie a stopper knot behind this brake. So what you're gonna do is form a circle, just like that. Pass a bite through. Basically, a slip knot. But you wanna get it up as close to that pulley as possible. And what this is gonna do is if this brake ever slips, this slip knot will just get jammed up in there, preventing total failure. And then with this bite, just simply tie an overhand. And then with your carabiner, clip it to the anchor. Voila. And as a secondary measure, you can always Use the tail of your slack line, if there is a tail, which there should be at least a couple of inches. Pass it through your tree pro. sort of knot as a tertiary backup system. There we go. Now if anything fails here, none of it will go flying. We'll just catch on this backup. So now we can slackline. All right, as a pro tip, to extend the life of your brake arm so that it doesn't wear out after extended use, uh, there's a quick tip for you. So using the tail of your slack line, do a overhand on a bite. Just like that, dress it nice. Clip your multiplier carabiner. Now you can take off the extra stuff so it doesn't clang around. Then, we're gonna do a munter mule using the tail of this rope. So to do that, make a loop, and then come up over just like that. Clip there, tighten that down. That's the munter aspect. And then the mule, Create a bite or a loop just like that. Pass the bite through and over. I'll show, I'll include a link on how to do this. This is a releasable knot, by the way. And then follow it with some half hitches around the entire system. Just like that. And now, using the end of your rope, pass it through the hole on the brake arm, tie a little stopper knot at the end, anything will do, and then pull to release the brake. Now, instead of the brake holding the tension, the tension is being held by this releasable knot. And so when we're done slacklining, like we are right now, we can undo this, these half hitches, undo the mule, keep it tight, holding the brake open, we can release tension very controlled. Super easy. 
and this will drastically improve the lifespan of your SPI pulleys brake. All right, now that we're done slacklining to detension, we're gonna take the tail coming from our webbing anchor and we're gonna form what's known as an overhand on a bite. You can do it pretty close to the brake pulley just to make things easy. And then we're gonna clip our multiplier carabiner to it and we're gonna do a munter hitch. So form a loop like that and up and over. Clip. Tighten it up as much as you can. Just like that. And then take the end of your rope, pass it up through the brake hole Form a stopper knot. And then, while holding this tight, pull on this tail, opening the brake arm. And hold it open while you slowly let slack out through the munter hitch. And then once it becomes easy, you can undo the munter hitch and then just pull slack through. There we go, and now we can disassemble everything and pack it all up and go home. That covers everything on the BC Classic Longline Kit. Once again, my name is Jerry Mascheski with Balance Community Slackline Outfitters. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment below.